Awesome. Hey, hey, what's going on? We hey. are live, and I'm excited to have my, my good friend Michael Reese is with me, and we're going to shake up the, the Houston real estate world today with Trisha Turner and Trisha Turner Properties. And hey, we've guys. come to you over the last couple of years. You are a rock star. You're definitely a rock star in your market. We came down to visit you there in Houston and saw your office. And we're really excited to, to have, to be a part, number one, to be a part of this and to be um, in business with you and to be able to work together with you. I think being aligned with people is, is a, a theme that we found on a lot of these announcements is, is very important to all of us, but we're, welcome aboard. This is, um, this is your special day and I'm excited to, to, to ask some questions and provide some clarity and really get, you know, get people excited about what's happening here. Good. Hi, you guys. Glad that we're here. This is awesome. Right on. So as, as, as everybody that's watching knows, um, you know, come to expect from watching these, obviously Trisha Turner has joined us at EXP Realty and the, you know, the burning question, I mean, you've been on a, um, the kind of a blazing path of success that, that few people experience in their careers. So why on earth, if everything's working, you know, would you make this crazy decision to join us at EXP Realty? So I think that would be a good question, right? I mean, you've been killing it. So what's the, what is, you know, what was it that really excited you about this opportunity? What made it, uh, made you decide to move, you know, make the move to EXP? Okay. Cause so I'm going to do some clarity first, you guys, cause there's mm -hmm. all these rumors going around. Everybody knows it in the real estate world that the company's shutting down. The brokerage is going out of business. There's people leaving left and right. So a no Trisha Turner properties is not going out of business. Never be the day. Uh, the brokerage is not shutting down. That's B. So no one needs to worry about that. What we've done here is we've restructured. So the brokerage will remain an independent brokerage. Um, I as the owner, of course, running the company. I've got a broker that's coming in um, soon. She'll be the broker of record here. She's an educator. I'm not even going to name her right now, but she's an educator. And she is fired up to come in here and train new agents and be with people that really need to learn contracts and the basics of real estate. But those of us under the TTP brokerage that see this huge picture and this animal of EXP Realty realize, holy crap, we need to get under the EXP umbrella and grow our business and double and triple our business and get with like minded people. So we are transitioning under the EXP brokerage and we'll all work under the same roof. So it's freaking awesome. So those of you that thought we were shutting down, nope, we're not shutting down. We're freaking expanding and we are going to dominate. How about that? Right. <laughs> yep. You know, there always, it, it never fails. I had always had a target on my back and, <laughs> and that's just a sign of success. People want to, people want to see you fail. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's what fuels, I think, a lot of us to, to do greater things. And no doubt this is going to be greater things and, and oh, yeah. we're this thing huge in Houston. So, you know, um, what's, you know, what, as far as, um, you know, you know, talking a little bit about kind of the, the first, you know, the first look at it and, you know, what, you know, what you saw as the opportunity, what, what got you the most excited about, about the business model? Okay, so I met you guys um, in May or probably April of last year. Was right away attracted to y'all's business model, NAEA, and was like, oh my gosh, I got to become part of this. So naturally, I joined up y'all's organization, have been with y'all ever since. And so I am attracted to everything that y'all do. I've learned so much from y'all. And then when I saw you switch your independent brokerage and go under EXP several months ago, I was like, what in the world is this? Why would you two shut your independent brokerage down and go under EXP? You're very successful. There's got to be something there, right? right? Right. So I'm watching this. I'm just thinking, huh, I got an independent brokerage too. But I mean, I'm nowhere near the numbers y'all are. I would only dream to be like that. And so I just keep paying attention. And of course, I'm attracted to it. So I'm paying really close attention to it. And this has been going on since like February. I've been watching it, running my office here, doing great here. We're very successful. We have high numbers here, well known in the community, but attracted to what's going on with EXP. So I'm like, OK, I got to pay more and more attention to this. So in the last couple of months, probably two, three months, I'm watching these heavy hitters go over to EXP, brokerages go to EXP, big, huge teams from California, Ohio, everywhere, they're going to EXP. And I'm like, holy crap, we are about to get dominated. You know, I got to know what's going on. So naturally, I'm looking at my office and I'm thinking, 
there's no way that we can hit those kind of numbers that people at EXP are going to hit. You just can't. I mean, you can put the math to it all day long. It's just not possible. People say, oh, yeah, you can. No, you can't. You can't. When you put that many power players together, I mean, the sky's the limit. They're going to take down the real estate market. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So when you look back at history and you see a movement like that, like look what Uber did to Yellow Cab. I mean, Yellow Cab is gone. They're history. You know, look what Netflix did. I mean, blockbusters are, I mean, they're history. The <laughs> same thing is going to be, watch, you know, EXP is coming. Look at Amazon. They're blowing up. And when you see a movement, you get that many people with that much power, that much money, that much knowledge, and that much drive. If you don't get under that, you're an idiot. That means so with my company, you know, it's not for everybody. There's school teachers here in my company. They're not trying to kill it. They're not trying to dominate. And that's great. I have agents here that, you know, they are looking forward to retirement. They don't want to go sell 50 houses a year. They couldn't even think like that. You know, they're like, I just am happy like I am. And that's totally OK. I love that. And I love that we can service those people and they can stay right here in the independent brokerage. But if you want to grow your business, if you want to have the tools, the training, everything at your fingertips and be able to mastermind with people that are killing it, you got to go to EXP. There's no other way. That is why I did it. And because I watched you guys and so many people transition under and I'm looking at the structure of my office, it was like a godsend because I was literally praying like, you know, show me a way, show me a, a better way to to get that kind of structure, to get those kind of numbers. And literally, Michael called me and he's like, hey, we need you to come to Frisco. We need to talk to you about something. We want to have a conversation with you. And I'm like, holy crap. Are you kidding me? So hell yes, I'm going to Frisco. <laughs> and I went and met with you guys. And, you know, you all want to come to Houston and partner with somebody that has the, sh the same vision, the same core values. And that's me. I'm here and I want to take everybody here in the office with me and, and make them grow their business. I want them to do numbers they've never seen. I want them to have access to the tools that, of course, I do and they don't, but they will now, you know, and they are fired up. They they can't even imagine what their life's going to be. And I tell them, you just watch a year from now. Y'all are going to be like, holy crap, I would never would have thought this. So right. Yeah, we are fired up here. That's awesome. I, yep. it, and Michael, I know you have kind of a hard stop coming up too. So is it, is it, what, what's uh, you know, what kind of is your take or what questions maybe do you have for, for Trisha? And I, I don't have any questions for Trisha. I think, um, you know, as, as part of just going out there and talking to agents, I only have, um, I've never met anybody like Trisha and, you know, Trisha is, is, you know, when, when I first she had said something a second ago and I, I don't know if she broke up, but um, I when I called Trisha, I called the person thinking when I called Trisha, I knew that I knew that I knew that I knew that she would not be interested. Right. <laughs> right. And, and so I didn't call her. I was really truthfully because I had a strategy and Houston is one of the top five markets in the country. I could drive there and I was looking for someone that I trusted that could point me in the right direction. And I was a little, you know, I was a little nervous to ask her if she'd be open to the partnership and working with us and at least talking about it. And so when I called her, I was going to ask her like, you know, cause we've done events down there and she had been, and that's where we originally met and I was going to get her feedback. And, but I, you know, when you see her stuff and her brand, you know, she's just such a dominant agent. I had personally never, ever imagined talking to somebody that had so much going on in one direction as an independent broker. I just didn't know. You know, I've had the conversation before, but I just didn't know. Oh, he got on. He got on. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, let's see here. So, yeah, we lost him. He gone. He'll come back. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, no, no doubt. I think, um, you know, what Michael's hitting on is, you know, is 100 percent. I mean, you have the you have the the energy and the want to and the drive to do something big and to make a ding in the universe. And how, how you know, if there's an opportunity and this is what I love, I love about you, Tricia. And this is really the I mean, there isn't anybody that I talk to that isn't this way, but it's it's being open minded. Like, you, you know, a lot of people, oh, you know, I, I, no, I'm not doing anything else. I, you know, this is right where I'm at. Like, they won't even look. They won't even, they, and they assume that they know you were completely open-minded and said, well, how can I not, how can I not look at it? Right. Like, right. And I think 
that's the right philosophy in life is to say, you know, Michael says it all the time. You know, you have to say, you know, you say yes until you have to say no. You don't just say no to opportunity. Then you'll you'll never see anything different. Um, you know, you, you would never, you know, you would still be renting your videos from, you know, from Blockbuster and riding around in Yellow Cab. If that's the case. You know what I'm saying? At some point you had to download the Uber app. At some point you had, you know, you had to, you know, get a $7.99 uh, Netflix um, subscription. And, it, and at some point, every agent is going to make the decision to join the EXP. It's just a matter of time. It and is. And think of it, you know, you can get on at the ground floor now and be part of the movement and be part of changing how real estate is done, because that's what needs to happen. You know, the people that don't know anything about real estate that are unprofessional, they need to be run out of business because they're, you know, these people, these homeowners, this is their biggest asset of their life. And if you don't handle it with professionalism, you shouldn't be handling real estate at all. And so when you put this many dominant people together under one brokerage, it's going to be insane. I can't wait because we can only improve each other, you know, and oh, Michael left again. <laughs> um, the, and, and here's what I don't, here's what I don't think people get. I don't think people get, I, I mean, I say it on every one of these and, and there's usually one or two people who go, Oh, Oh, I see it now. And it's, it's, it's one thing to have all of us in one brokerage. That's that, you know, that's, that's not new, you know, but there is no. a completely different thing for us to all be a part of one brokerage to all have ownership in that brokerage yep. and to all have a compensation that is that where we are, we are benefiting from you doing better in your business. Oh, yeah. uh, that alignment in and of itself has never been done before. And no. you know, until you, until you see it and you're like, Hmm, you mean to tell me that the top agents in the world are all incentivized to help me be successful? How, how, um, how can I lose? Right? Like if you really want to win, and you and you know all these people that have, are winning <laughs> and they can help you win and they're going to be incentivized to help you win without you having to pay them um you know out of, out of you know any extraordinary uh fees that would typically you probably wouldn't get their time um wh what an opportunity is that to join a company that has a, a compensation model like that it's just something that you know it, it's it's more fun every single day i'm having more fun every day it's been a year since i've been doing this i'm having more fun today than i had the first day and the first day was a ton of fun as well but it just keeps getting better and this morning it um this morning in the in the leadership meeting in the cloud it was funny because i i was working out and it was before the leadership meeting and i was gonna go run usually i run five miles but that, that takes about an hour and i was like man i don't want to be late you know to the meeting and then i started laughing i was like and it's not gonna go anywhere i mean i'm gonna join the cloud right so i can be sweaty or whatever and i started thinking about it. i was like you know i don't think people realize like it's a game changer like i'm i used to miss workouts because man i got to get to the office i got to beat the traffic and if you know and all that and it took me an hour to get from where i'm at to the office so you know th those are i don't have that problem anymore i got my workout in i got joined the cloud you know jumped in the cloud made it to the leadership meeting like it changes the way you do business. And, you know, when you yeah. know, I, I, I don't think everybody quite grasps the the um, the impact that it's making, not just because of the compensation model and the opportunity for us to be aligned and work together, but it really does change the way you operate and how you do business and, and allows you to um, to get a little bit more of your life back and um, and not ha not to feel tied down to have to be, you know, at you know in a certain place at a certain time. Well, the beauty I have here too, though, is that I do have a brick and mortar that we love. And so there's agents in here and basically all the agents that have rental space in here are transitioning under the EXP brokerage, but we're going to essentially have two companies under one roof, being able to help each other and work together like a family, like we've always done. And it's amazing. And we'll be able to help each other and grow and grow their business. And so instead of just a cloud brokerage that maybe doesn't work for everybody, well, you don't have to go into the cloud. We're right here too. So, you know, you got old school and you got the new way and it's working together and it's going to be crazy. I can't even wait. Awesome. Michael, you got cut off, huh? Yeah. Ever, did y'all ever get cut off or is it me? It's just you. <laughs> Today, today's just you, brother. Hey, don't worry. Usually it's either me or Al. Al I think Al historically has the worst internet on the planet in, in Cleveland. I'm not really sure what's going on there. But then the other day, it was, I think it was on me. It was either on me or it was on the technology. So no worries. <laughs> we do, well, we gonna, do. Have, yeah, I'm definitely, I did that. I did make it a priority to add another thing to my list because there's nothing worse than having this, a bad internet connection. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me. I deal with it out here in the country all the time and I've got really slow upload speed and stuff like that. And it drives me crazy. I'm literally going to have to dig a ditch to get them to bring like some real internet up here, I think. <laughs> so. Um, nobody wants to bring me internet up here in, my, in the country. So, 
Any you rate, know, when you were talking about like the different options with EXP and stuff, as an independent brokerage owner, you know, you want to give your agent so much training. You want to give them everything naturally that you possibly can. But as an independent person, you are limited. You're limited as far as technology goes, because I mean, you can't compete with the big dogs when you can't compete with like EXP. There's a lot more money behind EXP, building the technology, building the cloud, building the training, building, bringing it all in. There's no way an independent broker can compete with that. So when you look at that and then the stock options, you know, EXP has stock options. You, you don't have that with an independent brokerage. So for me to be able to be a part of really both to own an independent brokerage, but not work in it, I'm helping these agents grow under EXP. It doesn't get any better than that. I'm on cloud nine. You know, right. I'm completely on cloud nine and my clients, none of my clients are going to be affected by any of this because I'm right here. Nothing's changing. I'm not going anywhere ever. Right. You know, ever. We're just going to grow to the top. Yeah, absolutely. And these Definitely agents the here in the office, they're going to go, they're going to blow up y'all. Yeah. They have, they have the opportunity. It's going to be so they, rewarding. You know, and, and you've done a great job too, you know, with and one thing is they're not technically stock options. Um, stock rewards. Huh? Yeah. Good, good catch. Yeah. Stock Right. They're, they're stock rewards. But the point is, is that the, the incentive is to is give people that ownership mentality, which is I always remember Brett Gove saying um, he would say, you know, hey, you know, if, if he was talking about when he was looking at the opportunity, he's like, man, if this doesn't because, you know, stocks go up, stocks go down. Right. Um, but he was saying, um, well, if it doesn't work out, what am I? What would he say? He's like, I'm just a Cowboy Bank agent, a, you know, <laughs> agent. And Kelly Williams said, I really have no downside. No. Right. So there's just so many, um, so many incentives um, to help align again, like you said, to get people that it, there. It's I, I saw Jeff Bezos write a he wrote an article on CNBC, and it said that um, it was it was a lady actually that. The lady was telling her story about meeting Jeff Bezos and she had built a huge company and she said he had said you never take your renter rental car to the car wash. And his point was, you know, how to align people and how people behave differently when they have, um, you know, a, 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 an invested interest. And I thought that was pretty brilliant. It is. Yeah, that's really good. I definitely well, I think the more people spend time with people that want to grow and want to do crazy things and help others. I think it's a mindset, you know, it just becomes a mindset. You want to be like them. You know, when you're around people that aren't successful and aren't doing things that align with you, you kind of feel like a black sheep. And so when you are attracted to that mindset that EXP has, because there's so many heavy hitters there, I mean, how do you not see it? You know, how do you right. not get attracted to that and want to be part of that? Because I can tell you, I can't wait to be in one of the mastermind sessions and just grow and learn more. You never can know everything in real estate. None of us can. We learn every day. You know, right. how can you not want that? I don't know. That's just when I opened the company, that was like my biggest frustration for the first year was I'm bringing in all this training. I'm bringing in all these tools. And so many people didn't use it. You know, they they show up for the classes and they're gung ho, but then they don't implement it. And it's like, what are you doing? Why won't you do it? I don't get it. And that used to really frustrate me um, yeah. because I want everybody to do crazy numbers. I mean, it, who doesn't want to make a lot of money and who doesn't want to do a great job for their clients? I mean, I want to do, un, you know, unimaginable things. I have huge goals and this is just a stepping stone, you know? And so I, that was a big frustration to me. And this way I now can mastermind with people that are doing crazy numbers. And oh my gosh, it's, I am super excited. And so are the agents here. They are, they're like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see where this goes. Yeah. You got some great agents that are coming aboard with you. And, and um, I'm, I'm excited to, to, I'm excited for them to be a part of this. I'm excited to help them grow and, yep. and be an extension of, of you and your brand and helping, um, helping them be successful. Um, that's, that's what, it, that's what inspires me every day is yep. to be able to be a part of that. So um, yeah. Is there, is there any, um, you know, what's, you know, it, for someone who, who has, you know, like not being, hasn't looked at the model, hasn't looked at the XP, what, you know, what would be your advice to them? You know, as far as taking a look at it, look at the model. 
I would say, what do you have to lose? Look at your own numbers. Look at your own production. Are you, you know, making the money that you want to make? Are you selling the houses that you want to sell? Because if you're not, then there's something wrong. There's got to be a better way. There's mm -hmm. always a better way. And if you think that you're going to continue just doing this average frustrated agent, you know, as we call them, yeah. I mean, that's, you don't want to do that. Who wants to live like that? So when you see all these people, top producers, heavy hitters going under one brokerage, I, you got to be like, I got to be part of this. You know, right. what is it? What is the attraction? You need to talk are, to somebody. What am I missing? Right. <laughs> you got to approach it with what am I missing? What am I yeah. missing? And, yep. um, you know, I think, um, yeah, again, it's, you know, it's, it, it's not for everybody. But for those that, those that are like minded, want to grow, want to be a part of something special, want to do more, want to have more, want to experience more. <laughs> um, yeah. Over, you know, that's what that's what this movement's all about. So it um, is it's like like you've said it before, you can't unsee it. Once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. You're attracted to it. You just you're thinking, oh, my gosh, I need to hurry up. Come on, bring it. You know, that's, that's right. what we're thinking here. We're ready. Let's do it. So, yeah, yeah. we've got big plans, the big plans there. And um, and not just Houston. We're going to we're going to expand this thing oh, yeah. all, over the, all over the globe. Yeah, we are. EXP is a big like I told everybody here. It's an animal that you just can't stop, you know. You just need to get on with it because you can't stop it. Right. Get on yeah. the train with this. Get on the fun yeah. train. Definitely. But, you know, like I told the agents here, some of them are staying on the independent brokerage and some of them are going with us. But, you know, overall, we're still a family, you know, and that's the greatest thing. And they can reach out to agents that they know and let them know, hey, look at this model. You guys got to check this out because I can help you grow your business because people, right. you know, people think real estate's an easy thing. It's not. Real estate's a hard gig. I mean, it is. You better get up every day. You better hustle. You're yep. on call 24 seven. You better know your numbers. You need yep. to, you know, you've got to have a system. <laughs> in place you can't just wing it or you're right. gonna fail and right. so with exp there are systems in place there are systems there's tools there's processes there's people to talk to i mean you know and exp had it not been for you and michael i maybe wouldn't have looked at it so intently but i have you know respect you guys so much you've changed my life dramatically just you know from joining y'all's organization so when i see you doing something then i'm like i have to be part of that because you're not going to be part of something that's going to fail never be the day you Never, know, not happening. So I would be a fool not to align myself with you. Completely. You're a rock star. I really appreciate that. You don't have to say that. You're just really smart, and you saw the same thing we saw, which was this is a, is a huge opportunity. It's totally in alignment with your goals. It, we're going to yep. get do, we're going to do bigger things. We're going to do it faster together than we will apart. And so you know, always like I always say, putting how do we put our fires together and make one big fire. You know, that's uh, that's really the vision here. And uh, you know, Glenn, I'm just I'm. I'm excited about the direction of this company and the momentum of this company um, yeah. and being a part of it. Honestly, it's just been, it's been really, um, it's really been great and looking forward to helping you grow and, um, and anyone else in the marketplace that might be thinking about it. So, you know, if you're thinking about joining in and, and you're watching this and you're like, man, I know Trisha is really smart. What am I missing? Man, reach out to her and ask questions um, about what she sees and what, and you know, maybe there's something that, you know, you're missing and um, you know, she can help get that clear, get you clear on yeah. what it is. And maybe well, have, you want to have a conversation and, and like dig deep, you know, why you can hear the whole story because it's a long one. Sometimes I cry when I tell it, you know, <laughs> definitely call me for sure. But it is it's it's in depth. And, you know, I don't ever make a major decision like this without thinking about my family, the agents, my clients, everything. I mm -hmm. mean, this brokerage, you know, this costs quite a bit of money to open it. So I would never, ever do something that could jeopardize my business, anything. So right. don't think, you know, the public out there that thinks I just did this on a whim. No, this was well thought out. This was, you know, methodical, completely methodical, like everything else that I do. Right. Nothing half-assed, you know? Love that. We're going, we're going big, period. Right. Love that. Yep. Awesome. So once again, welcome aboard the fun Thank train you. at EXP, EXP Nation. Um, looking forward to helping dominate Houston and um, and and beyond. So uh, beyond. If, any questions anybody has, reach out to Tricia. And we're going to sign off here. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And we'll either see you at the top or at EXP. Yeah, I love it. All right. Bye, y'all. See ya. Bye.